Hey, today we are going to talk about adding fractions using um, a grid whiteboard, a dry erase board, and quiz and air rods. And quiz and air rods are math manipulatives that have units of measurements from 1 to 10. Um, so I'm just going to move these off the screen, but I'm going to build some fractions with them. So let's say that we have the fraction um, 3 quarters plus one fifth. And you know, I ask you to draw that. You might do something like um, representing three quarters. You might draw a shape with four squares in it and color three of them. And if you had to represent one fifth using squares, you might draw a shape that has five squares and color one of them. So what we can see when we draw our shapes is that it would be impossible at this point to add these fractions together because the shapes are different. We can't even compare them. Um, so we have to find a way to build a shape with the same number of squares in each shape without changing the value of our fractions. So we have to make equivalent fractions. So to do that, we have to find multiples of the denominators until we reach a common multiple, the lowest common multiple. So at this point, I'm going to use my quiz and air rods, and I'm going to build the fraction 3 quarters. So this would be another way to represent 3 quarters. And I'm going to build 1 fifth. Uh, yellow. Okay, so I have three quarters and I have one fifth. And I need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to start with my fifths, my larger fraction, and I'm going to see if I can fit two fourths or two fours into it, and I can't. So I'm just going to continue to build until I get the same amount on my top and my bottom. Not yet. Okay, so I found a common multiple. And if I counted up all of the, if I used the, a number of ones here and counted all the way up, I'd discover that because this one's five, I've got five here, 10, 15, 20, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So my common denominator, denominator is going to be 20. So how did I get, how can I take 3 quarters and change it to have a denominator of 20? Well, I can take this 1, 4 and times it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remember when we work with fractions that whatever we do to our bottom number, we need to also do to our top number or our numerator. So I have one green up here, so I'm going to need 5. Multiply each of them by 5. Okay, and um, now I have to do the same thing with my other fraction. So I have 4 fifths. I'm going to have to do it down here. And I'm going to need 4 of my 1. So I'm going to move these quiz and air rods out of the way right away. I just wanted to show you how we can build up common denominators. My new fraction here, if my denominator is now 20, my new numerator um, is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'm going to move that out of the way. And my new numerator on this fraction is 4 and I have 20 on the bottom. Okay, so I'm adding these two fractions. Now, these fractions are equivalent to these fractions. So if I had to draw out 15 twenties, or 15 twentieths, I would create a shape that was say four columns by five rows, and I have 20 little squares inside, and I'm gonna color 15 of them. So 1, that's 5, 10, 15. So the way that this is equivalent to 3 quarters is I could say that I have 1, 2, 3, 4 columns 
um, of five squares and I've colored three of them. So three quarters are colored, so they're equivalent. Um, with this fraction, again, I'm going to draw the exact same shape. And I'm going to look at my rows. I've got um, one, two, three, four, five rows, and I'm going to have four squares each, and I'm going to color one of them. So I have four of my 20 squares colored, so that fraction's represented, but so is the one fifth represented because I have one row of five colored. Okay, so I can now compare these fractions and add my numerators. My denominator stays the same because I have 20 in my new common shape, and I have 15 here, 16, 17, 18, 19. So three quarters plus one fifth is 19 over 20.